Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the bool function on Power Automate. Now what is a bool function? Well, boolean is a true and a false value. Now what is this function for then? We are going to create a true or a false value. Well, let's say we have a string come through. In our example here, we're using active client as a variable and it's coming through as a true string value. If I wanted to say, is this equal to true or false? I would have to compare that to a string. But if I actually want to just do a true or false value, I have to convert that to a Boolean value. Now this is where the Boolean function comes in. The bool function, we can then pass in our string, our true or false value, and then what it does is it converts it to an actual ball value. It converts it to true or it converts it to false. It's no longer a string. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on the Power Automate website. And as you can see, I've got a manual trigger to start my flow. And what I'm doing is what we've just talked about. I've got a string being created called active client and I'm setting the string to true. Then what I'm using is a condition to demonstrate that checking to see if a string is equal to true, a bool value is not going to work. So what I'm doing is I'm just passing in this string value here and I'm saying, is it equal to true? Now the string is actually set to true, but it's a string type. It's not a bool type. So as you can see here, this I'm expecting to come back as false, even though the string is true and the ball type is true, they are not the same type. If I was to put this as a string, I would expect it to come back as yes. However, what I want to do is in this instance, I want to convert it to a ball type because that's what we are using during our demonstration. So I'm passing in the type, um, the string type as true. And I'm saying, is it equal to the ball type of true? I'm expecting it to come back as no. And if no, it's just going to say no. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ball function to convert our string type to a ball. It's going to convert the string of true to a ball type of true. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the same condition, but we're going to use the converted string, which is now a ball to say is true equal to true. And I'm expecting this to come back as yes. So let's kick this off. Okay, so we've run our flow. Everything's run successfully. We've set our string to true. And let's take a look at what happened in our first condition. Well, we've got a false back because it said, is the string of true equal to the ball value of true, which is false. So we've effectively said, no, it's not equal to that. Then what we've done is we've converted the string to a ball value of true. So it's no longer a string. And we've done the exactly the same condition. We're saying is true equal to true? What it is, is our condition equal to true? And it is true. So that is how you can convert a string to a ball value using the Boolean function by just wrapping in our true or false string value in a ball function and that is how you use the ball function on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.